Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our training. Challenge area, neck, hands, and décolleté with NCTF and art filler. Please welcome our expert for tonight, Dr. Elena Rimiatseva Mate, dermatologist in Paris, France. Hello, doctor. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Uh, bonsoir, bonjour. Ça dépend où vous êtes, où vous êtes. Dobry vecher, my dragi, et buenos dias. Dr. Rumanseva Matei is with us tonight to teach you her various techniques. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them on our live chat. I wish you a good evening and an excellent training. And to you, doctor, a good life. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you, my dear colleagues, to be with us tonight. Uh, we have just 35 minutes for the presentation and for live demo, and then we have uh, questions to discuss. Uh, first of all, I would like to start with a small, really small, it's going to last uh, five, uh, five, six minutes presentation, so I would like to ask you to show the slide, the first one. Uh, to start my presentation, right, why we're going to talk about delicate areas. Uh, I always t tell to my patients that these are forgotten areas. So we invest in the body, we invest in the face. But we shouldn't forget that the areas which we also see very often, this is hands, neck and decollete. So we're going to speak with them, or we'll speak about uh, them tonight. Don't forget then you see your patient. Either to show this scale, either always to mention in the medical file, the level of the aging. Like that, you're gonna, uh, you, you can uh, show the result and to compare not only by photos, but also by the grade uh, uh, you can evaluate before and after. Uh, according to the aging scale of the hands, you we're gonna choose the treatment. Next slide, please. And uh, we will uh, choose our puzzles, which are for you for tonight. This is uh, the best products you can have for the uh, rejuvenation and for maintaining of the skin, of the aged skin. This is the NCTF uh, 135 HA, which you uh, surely know. This is art filler fine lines uh, based on uh, 20 milligram of cross-link hyaluronic acid MHA-18. This is a pure hyaluronic acid without crosslink by with addition of glycerol. We're going to talk about it later. And also with a filler uh, um, universal. This is art filler universal based on 25 crosslink hyaluronic acid. According to the according to the grade, we will choose a protocol. And uh, on my uh, patient, as far as I have only one patient, I will try to show three different three different protocols which will see you which will help you in your private practice next slide uh, when we inject in the hands we have to remember that the uh, level of success is linked to the level of injection when you choose your grade uh, of agent of the hands then you will have to choose the fill filler please remember that our hands uh, you you all knows the agent of the hands but please remember that we have free fascia and our uh, goal is to inject just below the skin and the only uh, way how we can go there this is through the cannula and we have to be really close to the deep dermis in their upper superficial lamina the one you see on the slide with number one and you can inject their uh, fillers with uh, uh, low and middle G prime like that we're gonna use fine lines and universal filler which contains I remind you 20 and 25 uh, milligrams uh, of hyaluronic acid. Uh, on the superficial level, intradermally, we're going to introduce uh, the product which contains amino acids and vitamins and uh, natural hyaluronic acid, which going to hydrate the skin and then to improve the metabolism of fibroblasts and creation of collagen. Next slide, please. 
Uh, according to the NEC, we all remember that uh, the success of uh, the treatment really depends not only on the our injectable treatment, which we will, uh, sh which I'm going to show you today. Please remember that uh, injectables are very good for the preparation for the skin for the future uh, aesthetic procedures like thread lifting, uh, like um, improvement of the quality of the skin uh, or, or lifting uh, with uh, radio frequency devices or uh, HIFO devices or even plastic surgery. So this is not the only uh, uh, the only treatment which we should offer to our patients. Next slide. Uh, according to the grade, which you have seen on the previous slide, there are some protocols to follow. And I will introduce you uh, the product uh, which you will use in your practice, but this is a tool, this is not a product itself, it's also linked to Filmed portfolio. This is a nano soft needle, the unique one which allow, which will allow you to introduce the product on the level, uh, on the most effective, uh, effective level. This is a middle dermis which uh, contains the highest amount of fibroblasts and the, the activity of fibroblasts of, of this level is, uh, is the highest highest one in the dermis. So this tool will allow you to uh, deliver the product without additional uh, forces on the proper level. Next slide. According to the decollete, uh, uh, on our patient, which we, you will see a little bit later, uh, we will see the moderate uh, deep lines and the level of uh, uh, aging scale, according to Fadi Bolden, uh, is free. And we will use a special technique uh, which will allow us to stimulate fibroblasts and also to prevent the atrophy of the uh, subdermal uh, fat layers. Next slide, please. I'm sure you all of you are familiar with uh, the products and with uh, the uh, classification of the aging. That's why I don't want to stay on the uh, slides more. I just would like to introduce you the practical part. Uh, but uh, whatever you do, please remember that the success is not inside just one procedure. Please explain to your patients that uh, everything which gives nutrition to our fib to the fibroblasts of our patients should be repetitive. Uh, why? Because we have to deliver nutrition every two, three weeks to, uh, uh, to wait and to, um, to be able to have proper the level of collagenogenesis. Next slide. Uh, the proper level of the injection of uh, crosslink fillers on the decollete uh, going to be the, de uh, the deep dermis. Either we have to inject it in subcutaneous fat, the you will see frontal plane cross section of the area just above the chest. So this is the exactly the area where we will inject and where we will introduce our crosslink products. Next slide. Oh, we great! Finally, we can finally we can start, and we will start the treatment from the neck of my patient. I will prepare two products, and I will let you before I I show you the one I choose. I will yes, I will let you to choose inside the Filorga portfolio the one you prefer, and I will remind you the products with which we're supposed to work tonight. This is uh, MHA eighteen. This is the MHA 18. This is the art filler fine lines. We can exchange it with art filler universal, which contains more uh, hyaluronic acid, and then the product will be less liquid and it can it's uh, less hydrophilic. This is the MHA 18, which you're gonna see on that you see on the slide right now, and of course our. A booster of the fibroblast. This is nutrition of fibroblast. This is a NCTF uh, 135 HA. We will uh, start with the very simple technique, and from uh, one area to another, we will increase the level of the uh, the level of the difficulty of our injection. This patient has been applied with. Yes, great. Can you see the 
protocol you're going to use for this specific patient you have here? I didn't announce it yet, so I cannot repeat. Uh, the question is, uh, our patient in her 50s, so uh, we have uh, approximately the same level of aging all over the patient, but to be able to uh, show you the most interesting protocols, I will combine some of them. And uh, of course, the deeper the level of the aging, the more uh, stronger, the stronger product we have to use. And I will start uh, on the neck with uh, so-called, by me, double layer rejuvenation. Why? Because we will uh, increase the level of hydration in the middle dermis and we will inject hyaluronic acid, uh, 80, percent, uh, 80 milligram per milliliter hyaluronic acid with glycerol in the middle dermis. And then above, we will inject NCTF. Up. I remove anesthesia. We have applied Emla, 5% lidocaine cream, to be able to provide the best sensation for the patient during the, inje during the injection. Uh, I'm going to deliver the product with... I'm going to inject by papilla and I'm going to deliver the product with the needle 30 gauge. This technique is really easy to provide. Right now I inject the point of injection should be in a distance of approximately so one centimeter. Yeah. Excuse me, C can you please give us the plan of injection? Yes, of course. Let me explain you, because uh, I really, I'm sure that all of you are experienced, but probably not in everything uh, we're gonna sh I'm going to show you tonight. So sorry for someone of you who already know this information. Look, please. If I inject my needle and I see the metallic color, as you see it right now, it means that I'm a, in the upper dermis. This is a too much superficial for the uh, MHA 18. If I make my injection, introduction of the needle, I lower the needle and I don't see, I see uh, the location of the needle, but I don't see the metallic color. It means I'm located in the middle dermis. So this is the proper layer for this kind of injection. For all non uh, non-stabilized hyaluronic acid. Why? Because exactly here you want to lose your hyaluronic acid in uh, subcutaneous dermis and you will introduce it on the proper level of fibroblasts. If you inject and then if you inject and then you uh, pull up the needle and you don't see the location of the needle itself, it means you are too deep. Right now I'm on subcutaneous level. So my level should be in the middle dermis. Amount of introduced product is equal to the creation of the papillar, intradermal papillar. This is a small volume of the product. I don't really look on their plunger. I just look on the volume which I create intradermally. And this is it. Uh, distance between my papillus should be around one centimeter. The more even you are, the better result you will obtain. Once again, according to the neck treatment, please remember that this is a perfect preparation for the future treatment. This is a great treatment of the aging skin but also this is a very important as a preventive medicine. As you know, delicate zones, they are challenging because it's difficult to treat them. It's much better to prevent the aging. Don't hesitate to tell to your patient that... Up. Excuse me, we yeah. have a nice question right now. Yeah, great. Tell me. Why are you using the cannula instead of a needle here? Uh, I use a needle. Uh, right now I use needle, I don't use cannula. Okay. 
probably I mislead somehow with my perfect English, uh, my colleague who asked this question, but exactly, but for the introduction inside the dermis, we have to use exactly the needle. For the half of the neck, I use zero or 0 0.5 product. I inject the rest and I will continue to work on the neck with, I change the needle, I see that my patient uh, start to have uh, not lovely sensations, so I change uh, the needle to the sharper one and we will switch to another product. Oop. Can I ask the help? To ah, okay, it's okay. It's okay, it opens. Just open, uh, uh, just open the needles, the rest of the needle. Mm -hmm. So, I will continue with papillus and uh, the importance of this technique, of double layer technique, when you introduce hyaluronic acid in the middle dermis and nutrition uh, made by NCTF in the more superficial layer, but also by papillus, is in immediate result and decreasing the level of trauma. Why? Because finally you will have just one procedure instead of two and I reinforce what I supposed to do with NCTF by injection of MHA 18. Please remember that these papillus can be kept on the skin of the patient during approximately uh, one day and a half, uh, up to two days. You have to inform your patient about this in advance. You remember that everything which we say to our patient before the treatment, this is the explanation, but everything uh, which we say after the treatment, this is excuse. So everything should be explained before. Yep. Yes. Is it, uh, est-ce que c'était un peu douloureux? Oui, ça va. So the level of injection of NCTF should be, as I showed to you. Is it hurting you? How do you feel right now? It depends on the on the zones. Right. Yes, we have to take into consideration that we are yes, they are in the evening, so everybody a little bit tired, except of your lecture, of course. I am full of energy and happy to share with you my protocols. Remember that uh, remember please that the injection of the Amino acids, which are inside the product, should be exactly on the, uh, in this case, on the middle dermis. With a technique, will provide you the best uh, results. Uh, talking about neck rejuvenation, don't Excuse forget. Excuse me again, doctor. Yes, we have a question from a doctor in the UK. Excellent. Um, question is, are there some counter indication for pregnant women or autoimmune diseases? Uh, actually, pregnancy and breastfeeding and also acute autoimmune diseases or autoimmune diseases in acute state are contraindication for all aesthetic treatments. Okay. And, but if we don't know that this woman is pregnant and she doesn't know by herself, so they will not have any problems. Thank you very much. So we shouldn't treat uh, uh, tr women which are uh, on this excellent uh, stage of their life. Okay, and sorry, another question, this time from Argentine. Mm -hmm. yeah? Can you please repeat the quantity that you use for the neck? Uh, uh, here I do. Here I do pretty intensive treatment. So I use the whole while of MHA18 and three milliliters of uh, the whole while once again of NCTF. Yes, and uh, we, uh, this uh, amount of treatment allow me to treat not only the frontal part but also don't forget about lateral part and the uh, the upper third. So please don't hesitate to work all over the neck. Uh, I wanted you. to remind you that glycerol, which contains, uh, uh, which we can see inside MHA 18, uh, help us to increase the level of difference, improve the level of differentiations of 
keratinocytes. So we have double action uh, of this product by hydration and then improvement of the surface of the treated skin. That's why right after the end of the papillus and uh, uh, ecchymosis, your patient will declare a very good result. Treatment, when you treat the skin, don't forget to tell to your patient that the sagging of the skin starts from the face. So even if you use great products and excellent techniques, don't forget to lift up the middle and the low part of the face to be able to obtain the perfect result for the, sk uh, for the skin of the neck. In case you have uh, uh, um, platysma bands, don't hesitate to, inject uh, to uh, make injection of uh, uh, botulinum toxin, uh, uh, but it should be done uh, after injection of uh, NCTF, because of course this kind of uh, strong nutrition will decrease the level uh, of the duration of the botulinum toxin. Of botulinum toxin. Let's go to the uh, décolleté. Could you please let me know how many minutes left? Question just from Belgium. Excellent. Is it possible to treat with the neck with hyaluronic acid? Yes, this is what exactly For the we wrinkle. did right now. And uh, of course, uh, when you do uh, the treatment like that, then you will you can inject you can inject um, f uh, art filler fine lines directly in the lines uh, to be able to fill it up. And thanks to the cohesive cohesive features of the product, you uh, will have less risk of uh, hypercorrection and. Uh, Tyndall effect compare with uh, other fillers, which is really important. So it's very easy to work for the beginners. And is it before or after the MHEA 18? Uh, first, first of all, you uh, improve the quality of the skin and then you treat the horizontal lines. Uh, in case your patient can allow you to do the whole protocol. Yeah. And then you, you're supposed to choose. It's better to choose what you can allow to do from the very beginning and then to offer your patient best protocol and also the protocol which is uh, uh, affordable for his or her budget. And please don't forget to share responsibility between you and patient because sometimes patients come to our office and ask us to have the excellent result but for the small amount uh, or not sufficient amount of budget or sometimes they continue to smoke, continue to have a sun exposure and then demand from us to have the perfect uh, result just from the very first procedure which is impossible. It's better to explain them uh, before that you cannot do that than uh, to f look for excuses after. For the decollete, I'm going to show you another type of uh, protocol. I will combine um, uh, art, uh, art filler fine lines with NCTF, which is very important. But the action of this combination will be a little bit different. Uh, I will inject uh, art filler fine lines, but inside the dermis, I will put my product uh, on the depth of middle deep dermis. Please remember that this is very important to do uh, to do it with the proper technique. Your, when you uh, inject the filler, you shouldn't see any papilla. Why? Because right now I keep in my hand the product which is cross-linked. As far as it's cross-linked, any papilla which I create on the surface on the uh, on the skin will stay visible, which I don't want because it will create non. Uh, it will not satisfy our patient. And idea of injection of cross-linked hyaluronic acid intradermally is to place not only product which get, which gonna get rotate the skin because these uh, propers will be uh, for these purposes uh, I will use NCTF but I will put a small drops of hyaluronic crosslink hyaluronic acid to stimulate fibroblasts and I will insist on the area where I put the product uh, in case I see wrinkles. 
I prepare for you uh, another surprise, another technique with NanoSoft, which I'm going to show you on Decolte as well. That's why I distribute my product evenly everywhere, not uh, uh, just on the area. I don't insist on the area with wrinkles, because this is where I'm going to inject NCTF. But once again, my distribution should be done properly. I will ask cameraman to help us to understand. This is a very important that you see right now. If you have any doubts, please pass your hand like that from the super uh, from the uh, put it on the superficial plane and touch. If you feel any popular, please make it just press on it immediately. Huh? Press on it immediately to distribute the product. In case popular is not visible and you don't feel this amount of the product, so the level of injection is correct. Please never mix two techniques. Never mix techniques which you will s you saw on the neck and the technique which I show you on the décolleté. Uh, why? Because we use two different products. On the neck uh, I use non-crosslinked hyaluronic acid. On the décolleté I use exactly cross-linked. I use exactly opposite product crosslink hyaluronic acid. So no papulas should be should be here. Area of decolleté is a little bit sensitive. I will ask my patient to stand a little bit more. Yes, we can keep some anti-stress balls in the hands. And I will continue with my injection. Don't forget small drops all over the area. Uh, oh. Est-ce que ça va ou pas? C'est douloureux. C'est possible. Okay. Okay. Uh, why these techniques, uh, why I choose this technique and why I like this technique, especially before summer season? This technique, when I inject stabilized hyaluronic acid intradermally, will allow me to see my patients not every uh, two, three weeks. Yes, I can provide, I can do this protocol every uh, two, three months. As, as you see, I already treated almost all décolleté and I use uh, 70% of the product. When you, uh, right now the summer is coming, so some tips and tricks from your patients, uh, from you to your patients are always welcome. Don't forget to say that the best uh, treatment uh, for the um, s for the time of sun exposure, this is the introduction of hyaluronic acid and uh, non crosslink hyaluronic acid based with glycerol because this is a great antioxidant protection and also introduction of NCTF. But uh, except of recommendation of strong uh, sunblock creams, I remind them that they shouldn't have intake of any photosensibilizant uh, during the sun exposure. L for instance, uh, they shouldn't drink grapefruit juices because they contain uh, psoralin, which increases the sensibility of the skin to the sun. So like that, we're gonna treat not only the aging of the skin, but also possible hyperpigmentation. And right now I start this uh, introduction of the new excellent tool, the only needle which you have right now in the world with this kind of purposes. This needle has been created specially uh, for Filmed and the length is 0 0.6 millimeters. This needle allow us to deliver the product directly intradermis. Please look how the popular is created. This needle, this concept has been used previously for the vaccination to deliver the product 
on the proper level. And thanks to that, thanks to this technique, I can show you how to inject without preliminary uh, anesthesia and with an excellent result. So here, to have a perfect treatment, I will use uh, both products at the same uh, at the same area, but you can distribute, uh, but you can use it one by one as well. Uh, injection of nano soft needle by nano soft needle uh, require uh, just a little bit training. You have just see it first at first, and you should pull the skin. You introduce the needle and you create a small papilla. This papilla will uh, disappear in a time about two, three hours. And when you would like, in case you would like to treat linear wrinkles, you can place these papillas one close to another. So one papilla touch the previous one. Excuse me to interrupt again. Yeah. We have a question from Portugal. Great. Which Welcome is, Portugal. Yeah. Uh, what could be the immediate or later complications following the injection? This kind of injection, the, or any kind of injection. I think this one, right? This one, exactly. Sorry, on this zone. Uh, once you inject NCTF, nothing, except of allergy. But we have to prevent it. We have to ask our patient if uh, she has any problems. Uh, according to the, uh, the, in case we inject uh, uh, art filler fine lines on the proper level, you basically cannot have any problems because the only problem which you can have, this is the visibility of the product. Uh, and uh, in case of proper location, it's just simply impossible. So the techniques which I show to you, first of all, they are more than efficient. And second, they are safe. S sorry, from Mexico, one doctor was saying, were you saying that with art filler, it's not the same thing? No, 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 I just said that with art filler, you're completely secured if you follow our protocols and inject products on the proper level. That's it. Thank you so much. Yes. Allergy, allergical reaction, yes, is possible. But in case you know that your patient is allergic, just, uh, just start with uh, simple hyaluronic acid. Don't introduce NCTF in this case. If the patient is allergic, for instance, for any kind of vitamins uh, or... Uh, other ingredients which uh, this patient met in their private life. Start with Great. hyaluronic acid. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm almost finished. As far as uh, just let me know uh, how um, how much minutes how many minutes we have until the end, because uh, then I will uh, of course I will inject <coughs> I will treat all the decolletage, uh, but having a very limited amount of time, I keep some products for the. For the end, yeah. For the end, when we want to see any, then I have a uh, free time and I will explain you everything I wanted. Okay, so we have 25 minutes left. Okay, great. 25 minutes until the, the <coughs> end. Until the end. The so we end. have to keep some time for the questions. Yeah, but like you see, we can interrupt you as uh, well. Okay, excellent. So according for the hand. When you look for the hand, here you will see the grade of the aging, which doesn't suit for the uh, uh, the grade of the aging for the neck and decollete. The hands are really well kept, let's say, and you don't see a lot of dark spots. Uh, the uh, level of um, fat is not uh, is not as bad as it could be. So here uh, I will use the technique which will prevent the future aging and improve the quality of the skin and the quality of the fat. I will use two products, but so I have to use a proper amount of the product. I will use one milliliter of uh, art filler fine lines for each hand. And once again, I will combine this product with NCTF. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, wait a really proper result once we don't give nutrition to either our uh, fibroblasts. 
question from Hungary. Yes. Is the area of the hand dangerous in terms of injection? Uh, it depends how you inject. Uh, um, as uh, I didn't include in my presentation the slide, but this, uh, first of all, you see uh, some of my data on the screen, and then you uh, can ask uh, uh, to provide you the special scientific data where it's explained that injection with cannula on the back of the hand will uh, provide you not only the safe result, uh, and not only efficient, but also the safe result. We have to work on the upper um, uh, subcutaneous fat, just below the skin, and I will show you how we find this plane. So the only uh, uh the only way how to work properly, this is to work with cannula. In case you are, for any kind of reasons, don't work with cannula yet, I will show you how to introduce the product on the proper level. But once you know where, where is cannula in your office, please use it. We will introduce fine lines in subdermal layer by cannula. I choose the, uh, dire I choose the place of the injection which will allow me to reach the farthest zones, so it will be here, just above the wrinkles, but a little bit left to the veins. I make a small injection, I lift up a little bit the skin, probably it's not visible, I lift up the skin, but the direction of the pinch should be and as a direction of the cannula. Question from Poland. Yeah. Is there still risk for hematoma? Uh, in, in case you touch the vein, yes. Uh, I prefer to use for the hands the cannula, which has a size uh, more than 25, uh, like uh, 23 or 24 gauge. Why? Because uh, the thicker you are, the less risk of trauma, trauma you have. So let's discuss about the proper level of injection. Uh, right now I'm located just below the skin. Once you can move the cannula, like I show you, it means we locate it in the proper level. If in case you cannot move it like that, you, you are a little bit deeper. Uh, I introduce the product with a small linear injection and I will fill up the areas which has which are lacking of of the volume and of course i will distribute with a small uh, massage the product Quick question from Sweden. Yes. Uh, do you use any uh, anesthetic products before injecting the hands? Here I use it, but normally, actually, it's uh, here we use it for the presentation. But in my daily practice, once I work with fine lines or uh, universal, not. Why? Because the point of injection is not really painful, and the product itself contains lidocaine. So introduction of the filler itself will bring anesthesia. Thank you. Okay, don't hesitate to go close to the fingers. And the most important for us, this is even distribution, even distribution of the product. We don't have really visible absence of the volume here. So we distribute it evenly in case you see it, insist on, the, on these zones. Oh. I go forward. Um, uh, some tips and tricks for the hand treatment, for the post-treatment uh, period. Uh, this kind of injection, just because of trauma, can bring edema for the, uh, for the day after, and not only for the hands itself, for the back of the hand, but also for the finger. So. Remind your patient to remove all their uh, rings for uh, one or two days, so not to be stuck on the hands at this period. For my patient, 
as far as I would like to show you different protocols, I will use the next syringe, and this syringe is in CTF, and I will introduce it from the same hole, and I will distribute it all over the hand. Why I do it? I do it, first of all, if this one of the bee shouldn't be painful anymore because I make anesthesia by fine lines, then it will help me to deliver product close to the deep dermis and to help the better distribution of artificial fine lines as well. I don't mix it in one to be able to keep the same rheologic features. And this is a one more technique. You can find this description of this technique uh, when uh, you type BioNutriLift. Quick question again yeah. from Greece this time. Yes. Uh, how long after do you see your patient for a follow up? H how often? What? After you, you do the treatment, yes. how long does it take for you to book the next appointment for a follow-up? De uh, depends on the protocol. I didn't discuss with you uh, the, um, uh, po uh, the interval between procedures. Why? Because we use three different protocols all over the body. But uh, the, logic the logic is here. The longer lasting product you inject, the longer should be uh, intervals between injection. In case you use MHA 18, uh, you can keep protocol. Uh, you can uh, uh, keep doing procedures every three, four weeks. In as a basement or universal, it can be the last procedure in a. Uh, cycle of procedures or it can be the first procedure and the second one will be repeated minimum in one month and maximum in three months. Okay, and now we've been having the same question over and over. Could yeah. you please show us the difference between the treated hands and the knots? Of course. Thank you. Of course. Okay, and what we're supposed to do, I ask my patient, it's visible, yes, I ask my patient Uh, to um, I, I, I put the position of the hand like that, and I distribute evenly. Rem relax, please. Relax. So you see the difference? This was the light treatment. We didn't fill it up. And as I told you, the, our patient didn't have an extreme loss of uh, the volume of the back of the hand. So right now you see that this procedure is not really uh, aggressive and your patient can uh, hide it from, from the society. Very impressive results. Uh, on the other hand, I will show you the same, the both products, but I will introduce and uh, injections will be done by needle intradermally. Why I show you these two techniques? For this patient, it's better to use uh, introduction by cannula of both products because she has rarely good quality of the dermis. But in case in more nutrition for the fibroblasts by intradermal injections and to stimulate uh, creation of new collagen also by mechanical introduction of the product. Another question from Mexico. Yeah? Just would you use the same protocol if it was a man instead of a woman here? Uh, in case of a grade, in case we will have a grade of the aging which is equal, yes. But remember that men are more lucky than us have more collagen in the skin. It's 25-30% uh, more. You uh, should adapt according to the uh, uh, according uh, of the thickness of the skin. Okay, and mm -hmm. from Belgium, 
what is the size of the cannula that you use? Uh, it's very easy to... So you see that the uh, hand... This is a 23. Once you see the orange color needle or cannula, it means this is a 25. So my cannula, this is a 25. I continue with fine lines, introduction of fine lines. The proper level, this is a, the most superficial level of introduction. The most superficial. No, 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 it's, it's okay. Just move this. Thank you very much. Merci pour votre aide. I just uh, go very delicate, having very prominent vein. I go above. Up. And actually having these kind of techniques, we don't risk the risks, the risks of side effects. Let me show you, I have uh, just... And I show you But, in case you don't have a cannula, of course I advise you to have filmed cannulas, because we have a millimeter longs, long. But let me show how to do it without camera as well. This is a so-called tent technique. What we do, uh, which camera is working right now? I suppose, or oh, it's better, probably this side. So what we what we should do, you lift up the skin, you lift up my head. Sorry, it's better to use camera free if we can. Um, no, we cannot. Yeah, voila. Thank you very much. So I lift up the skin, and I introduce. I make an injection uh, of, of like thirty percent of the needle, and I inject about zero point one or zero zero five. So I have a small papilla which is located on the upper dermis and I just pull on it. One uh, I inject the small amount, 005, I remove, you have this papilla and then you push. The question is, then you push the product, it goes deeper in the fat. So it's better to have a, a, a distribution of the product by cannula, once again, rather than like that. But we have different situations in our life, and I would like to be uh, useful, and I would like that my workshop... ...popular, once again, we make distribution. So there is no popular, there is no uh, future visibility of the product. And I will continue with intradermal injection by 30 gauge, or it can be 32 gauge needle. Quick question in CTF yes, from please. Italy, please. How much? It depends what kind of product do you use and how many product do you use. So count, uh, but usually, as for the body, uh, as for the injection of botulinum toxin for the hyperhidrosis, I charge less for one unit compared with the unit for the face. Uh, I don't want to announce the price uh, because we are for we have absolutely different doctors uh, from different countries. But uh, I decrease the price of one unit compared with the face. Thank you very much. I think I think this answer will give you approximate um, range. Exactly. Range, yes, Thank for you. what we have to do. At the end of the treatment, we apply recovery cream, which will help us to prevent infection. We tell to our patient not to apply any cosmetic product. Don't go under. Uh, don't use a, a sauna or bath for three, four days. Of course, shower is allowed. And don't do any 
manipulation by hand, which local infection. The even distribution of the in situ F is welcome, while one injection to another, because this is the end of the workshop, my patient is tired and I feel it. So do not create more stress in her body and once again to avoid the trauma of the vessel, which is vessels uh, and vein uh, or at this patient are really well present and superficial. Um, one more bonus for for you and uh, uh, to force you to Abdermal introduction of uh, stabilized hyaluronic acid. According to the one of last scientific research, uh, we know that the introduction of hyaluronic acid of some dermal area uh, uh, help us to prevent the aging of the fat, which is really important. For uh, atrophy of the fat and. Uh, the collagen yes we my my time it seems like is right now almost almost I didn't lose uh, any shoes but I going to lose your attention but let's meet not in uh, online but also offline so welcome to all scientific and wells all over the world and of course once again in Sibli formation I apply Philorga a free recovery cream to finalize the results. Thank you so much, doctor. Very clear explanation and thank you to all. Thank you all for following us tonight and thank you for being so active on our live chats. If you want to miss us again, uh, our next live session is going to be next Tuesday on May 28th. Thanks again and have a great evening to all. Bye bye to everybody. До свидания. See you soon. Au revoir. Thank you. Thank you. This is the most pleasant part.